Hey YouTubers, just wanted to show you a quick little tip. Whenever you get these um, uh, easy pour, high flow or the regular flow uh, replacement nozzles for you know pretty much all the gas cans, it comes with a little vent uh, in the package. And so uh, if your gas can doesn't have a vent, you know, like these these original uh, Blitz ones. Uh, this is an original Blitz gas can. It's probably 20 something years old. This one had a, a, a vent right here on the end of it and it's kind of hard to get off. There you go. But uh, if yours don't have a vent on it like this, then you'll, uh, you'll have to put one on your gas can. And so uh, this gas can and the rest of these um, don't have a vent. So uh, what you're gonna wanna do is look on your gas can and find out where the max fill level is for these and you can see there's a line right there and that lets you know that's as high as you want to fill it up full of gas and uh, if you turn it around and kind of look at the can to give you an idea of where the best place to put the uh, the vents gonna be and uh, I'll just be honest with you uh, some of you guys I see some of the videos on YouTube where uh, they put the uh, vent right here right directly center of the uh, mold seam on the handle or just back behind the handle but they a lot of times they put it on the seam right here and I know this one from the factory this blitz can come uh, with the the vent right here on that seam but I've seen a lot of guys uh, put theirs on the seam and it start cracking so uh, instead of putting it right in here or somewhere like that and trying to get this flat piece to seat on a rounded handle I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna put mine uh, probably somewhere right in here uh, and that way it'll have a nice flat area to lay down into so when you push it uh, in there to seat the uh, the uh, the vent then it'll get it'll be a nice flat surface for it to mount up to so the way that you uh, um, install this vent is very simple you can use a half inch uh, drill bit you can use a uh, spade bit or some people call it a paddle bit that's a half inch or you can use uh, a reamer and uh, it's basically called a step bit and uh, it has um, has it marked on here uh, I don't know if you can see it but it has all the different sizes and you can see right there's the half inch and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly drill it out uh, one step at a time until I get it all the way to the half inch and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to install it All right, you can see where I've just made a little bit of an indention there in the uh, plastic with a stepper bit and uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and go ahead and start Drilling it again now remember you're not running no race here So you're not trying to get it all done so quick. Just take your time and like I said go one one step at a time and uh, just let the drill bit do the work and try not to waller it out any bigger than what it needs to be Let's see when you pull it out and have plastic all over it and just spin that uh, bit and then it slings it off wipe some of it off of your shirt or whatever and Get all those shavings off and then Just blow them off and make sure when you do this. There's no gas in the gas can That should be obvious for for most of us, but some people have to be told but uh, Anyways, just keep taking your time till you get to that desired desired size And uh, you can you can check it with your your bit right there. You can just push it down in there and, and check it and see if that's the right size. And uh, I'm gonna come back after I check it and um, I'll see if that if it needs to be stepped out one size larger. All right, guys, you can see that I just now uh, got the hole uh, reamed out to a half of an inch. And uh, if you look inside the hole, you can see there's a piece of plastic that's holding on in there. And uh, what you want to do is just reach in there with a pair of, of uh, needle nose pliers and try to pull that mess out. Because you don't want that falling down into your 
your fuel can. You can see a big old chunk just come off. And uh, I took a half inch drill bit and tried to uh, clean the hole up a little bit, but it still didn't cut that excess, pla the excess plastic off. So uh, just try to get all the uh, loose pieces off in there. And uh, you know, if it's still stuck on there, then it's probably gonna be good. And uh, if it was me, I would just take and, and uh, just clean it up with a drill bit, just run it down in there. And I've got one right here. And you can see it's a half inch bit and I just run it in there and clean that hole up and uh, it's not necessary but I'm just trying to make it as smooth of a surface for that vent to uh, mount into and then once you get that hole all nice and cleaned up you take your vent right here and uh, what you want to do is just when you go to push it in you want to push it in until it it reaches that little lip right there and that's lips what's gonna be holding it in so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set it on the ground since I'm trying to film and, and press this in at the same time. But I'm gonna go ahead and get her squared up in there. And then it just pushes right on in. Just a little bit of pressure. Now you've got you a nice vented gas cap. And as you can see, um, the, uh, the vent's above the uh, maximum fuel mark right here. So you're not gonna fill it all the way to the top. And uh, even if it, you know, you do fill it up a little higher, you know, it's going to be nice and sealed up and uh, should be good to go now. That's how you install a vent. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I appreciate it. And uh, please like and subscribe. And if there's any other products you'd like to see me do a review on or like to see me install, hey, just put it in the comments down below. I'll try to get to it. Appreciate it.